Hello, I'm Howie Sheriff. Welcome to another program from You Call This Yoga. Today, we'll explore Deskside Wellness 2. Let's start from Mountain Pose. Mountain Pose means feet are hip width apart. If you're seated, I'd like to use two fists as a reference. If you're standing, and I'll stand, Think of these hip crests right here in the front, going straight down, lining up with the middle of the feet. I'm going to sit back down and continue from sitting mountain. I like to use props. Let's see how a pillow and a rolled up towel can make a big difference. If you can acquire a pillow and have space for it on your chair, Consider it. I'm going to place mine directly behind me. It gives my back a reference, so instead of leaning backward, I have something as a reference to keep me vertical. The next tip is called the Lumbar Limbo Roll. What does all that mean? Let's look. It's a nice soft bath towel. I folded it up nicely and rolled it up and then it makes a collapsible and soft cushion for my lower back. The lumbar area is just above your waist. Let me show you. I'm going to place this just above the waistband in the lower back. This gives me a reference for my lower back to lengthen. It also gives me something for my tailbone to curl under, hence limbo. So the tailbone curls under, the spine extends up. See if you can find some prop while we breathe. Settle yourself into mountain pose and catch up when you're ready. Let's breathe through the nostrils, slow and easy, no forced, but gentle, passive, relaxing breath. Feel free to let your eyes rest for a moment and observe the quality of the breath. It feels agitated or sluggish. It's a good way to check in and then we can continue. One more breath in sitting mountain. Ah. Let's continue by warming up the wrists and hands. Let's just roll the wrists gently on an inhale and roll them back the other way on an exhale. Let the breath drive the movement. The slower you go, the gentler you can be, honoring what your body tells you. One more pair. Let's change a light bulb. Let's reach and grab. One more. Let's flex and point. Keep breathing. And let's shake it out for a moment. Collapse if you need to. 
And let's try a Chinese anti-arthritis technique taught to me by my teacher Lakshmi. Start by making an L shape with the thumb and the index finger. We're going to alternate spaces and touch in between as we breathe. Ready? Starting with the thumb and the index finger. Take an inhale and then four taps as you exhale. Come to the next pair, index and middle. Take a breath, four taps. Rest. Continue, watch out for any rings. Middle and ring finger. Then ring and pinky. It's okay if you don't count all the time, I might mess it up too. Other way. Ring and middle. Middle and index. Index and thumb. Shake it out. Continue. Ready? Make sure you rest in between each cycle. It's not a race. Ah, I've got my heart going. How about you? Let's continue with the warmth of our hands and let them warm up our eyes. We'll warm the hands and then place them over the eye sockets. If you have glasses, please place them somewhere safe, maybe on your lap or on the table right next to you, just not somewhere far that you lose them. Let's take the palms and rub them together. When they get nice and warm, we're going to place the palm pad over the eye socket, the thumb pad over the temple area, and let the fingers drape over your brow and onto your scalp. Take a few breaths and let the eyes soften. No pressure. Each inhale, letting your body lighten, and each exhale, let the eyes soften. Take two or three more breaths. If your arms get tired, just let your hands settle back onto your thighs. One more. And then as the hands settle, you can gently let the eyes open. Let's pay attention to our position when we turn our head from side to side. If you're collapsed, the range of motion could be very small. However, if you sit up, use your support, and create a longer spine with your head centered between your shoulders, your range of motion could be much greater. Let's play with that. Let's just take a breath and extend the spine, and on the exhale, just turn your head to the right. And then bring it back. Let's do that three more times. Lengthen, and just a gentle head turn. Two more. Notice if your head can shift a little bit further to the right with each exhale as you keep your body long and rest. Let's go the other way. Extend on the inhale, exhale, turn to the left and come back. We're just juicing the discs as they support the head turning. One more. Good. 
roll the shoulders and let's add a little extra shoulder blade engagement what I mean is as you turn your head to the right draw the left shoulder blade straight down onto the back ribs creating a movement this way anchoring and drawing this muscle down ready exhale turn the head to the right bring the left shoulder blade in this direction back and down stay here for an extra breath and feel the left side of your neck possibly lengthening and then come back to neutral go the other way lengthen the spine turn your head to the left draw the right shoulder blade onto the back ribs notice the range of motion it may differ from left to right stay here for an extra breath or two and then come back Are you ready for the next secret? It's called your bunnies, also known as your buns. How can that be? They're stabilizers for your thigh muscles. Check it out. Just sloop and let them hang out. Take a breath. Try to squeeze your bunnies. Mm, not much going on. Okay. Release. Come back to neutral. Press the feet and squeeze the bunnies. Oh, do you feel all these muscles engaged and how strong your thighs become? Beautiful. Make sure you exhale, let it out. So for this process, when your bunnies are engaged, I'd like you to smile. That way I know that you're engaged. I'll do the same. Let's practice. Press the feet, push the tail, engage the bunnies and smile, and exhale and hold the bunnies. When you finish exhaling, release the bunnies. Notice the drop. Try again. Bring them in. Keep smiling as you exhale. Beautiful. Release. Good going. Let's build on that because they're stabilizers. This is important for walking, to have strong balance and stable muscles. Press the feet, push the tail back, and practice inhaling and raising your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, lower the shoulders and elbows to the waist. Good, try that again. Feet down, tail back, Elbows and shoulders up. Exhale, bring them down. Good. Collapse if you need to. Let's combine two of those moves. Press the feet, push the tail back, bring the elbows and shoulders up to the ears, engage the bunnies and smile. Exhale, keep the bunnies engaged, bring the elbows and shoulders all the way down to the waist, finish the exhale, and then collapse. That really lengthens the neck. One more. Engage and smile. Exhale. Lower them straight down. Finish the exhale and 